Hey guys, we're gonna show you how to install this immobilizer into your travel scoot. Okay, this applies to all models of travel scoot, whether it's the Escape or the older models. Now we have a stock LED display, displaying the battery indicator and the on-off switch here. Now, as you can tell, I just press the on-off switch and nothing shows up here. Don't worry, because we have the immobilizer. Now we just double tap the immobilizer. Okay, so sorry, let's try that again. Okay, double tap. Okay, you hear that sound? That means it's on and you can proceed to turn it on. Okay, and your throttle will then work. Now, to turn it off, it's easy. Just hit, there, there you go. Okay, additionally, there is an alarm system that prevents anyone from touching or tampering with your system while the alarm is activated. Okay, we'll show you how that works. Okay, so activate the alarm. You hear that feedback sound? Okay, now when we jump, okay. When we try to jump again, there you go. Okay, to so turn it off, let's engage the alarm. Okay, so this, all of this, the, uh, the remote on off, the alarm is all included in the immobilizer unit. Okay, so now we can proceed to turn it off. And when we turn it off, Okay, and try to turn it back on, it does not work. Okay, because we have to activate, activate the machine. There you go. Now, how does this get installed into the travel scoot? Okay, so if we come down here, okay, you see this little black box here? Okay, so this black box connects to the control unit of the travel scoot. All right, so this black box essentially is the alarm and the remote on off key uh, all in one. Okay, so we attach it with a little uh, 3M double sided tape, uh, seal it up with a little silicon to make sure the uh, water does not get in. And you got a pretty good security system for your travel scoot.